Uh, what's up, Language Challengers? It is my that uh, It is my first day here in Saigon, aka Ho Chi Minh City. I just took a three-hour nap. <laughs> it is uh, uh, around 6 p.m. already. Um, yeah, I didn't really sleep much last night because my flight was at 7:30 in the morning. So yeah, uh, after I had arrived here in Saigon. I went straight to the hostel, and um, yeah, but obviously I couldn't check in that early, uh, so I grabbed some coffee and had, what did I do, I had lunch, yeah, and yeah, then I took my three hour nap, so today is going to be a chill day, I, gu I guess, I got invited into, like, for, I got invited to a Halloween party thingy but I really don't feel like partying right now and I'm not really a party type of guy or club type of guy and I still feel sore from the gym and it's raining a lot and so many excuses but uh yeah so chill day I'm going to eat something now I'm starving and yeah after that I'm probably going to edit some stuff for you so you're welcome bye well in 10 minutes okay bye bye mm. the first thing I needed to get used to was the money currency in Vietnam I had to realize that well I'm not a millionaire unfortunately my goal was to do daily vlogs edit and upload them during my trip but I kind of underestimated how much work and time it actually takes but hey I do enjoy editing and learning more about videography If you want to come to Vietnam, it might not be a good idea to come during monsoon season. <clears throat> Especially not in September or October when severe flooding might occur like this year. It was Halloween that evening, so main streets like Nguyen Hue was packed with people. I decided to meet a friend, well, we actually only met once when she was studying in Switzerland. We don't even remember how and when we actually met. But here we are, having dinner and talking about Vietnamese culture. After that, she showed me around the city. I think I have a little problem. Um, I tend to, you know, drink too much. Um, water and other non-alcoholic drinks this ladies and gentlemen this ladies and gentlemen is like two days mm -hmm. two days that's crazy Third day, I just walked around and had some delicious banh mi for breakfast. I also found a great bookstore, and <laughs> I simply couldn't resist the cheap prices, so yeah. Generally, I'm not that kind of tourist who needs to see all the typical sightseeing spots. 
I prefer walking around randomly and explore a little bit at my own pace. I also love checking out cozy coffee places where I can read a little bit or in this case edit videos and just, you know, chill. Good morning. Um, it is. It is uh, eight oh one in the morning. My last day here in Saigon. Uh, I can't sleep anymore. Maybe because of the noise outside. <sighs> Either way, um, yeah. This way, I have more time to do some last-minute stuff before I leave for. Um, Nyachan in the afternoon. 30 minutes later, he fell asleep again. Stupid. Back at the airport, pretending to be productive and stuff. My stay in Saigon wasn't very exciting from a touristic point of view. I used my time mainly to learn more about camera settings, equipment, and filming in general. I also spent some time improving my writing in Vietnamese. Either way, time to go to Nyachan. Thanks a lot for watching, if you want to know more about Saigon, feel free to check out the video to your left. And yeah, there's also vlog number one and a little introduction to the Vietnamese language to the right. See ya.